we'll get started. Uh, thanks everyone for joining us. I'm Ryan Spiteri, the Communications Manager here at the Brain County Health Unit. Here with me I have uh, Dr. Elizabeth Urbanke, Acting Medical Officer of Health at BCHU. As per usual, can we do a quick roll call for those joining us? Then I'll just have you state your name and affiliation. Samantha Lee, Brent Dot One. Patty Berardi, Rogers TV. Vincent Ball, Rapid Expositor. All right, thank you everyone. In a moment, I'll turn it over to Dr. Banky to make a brief statement. If you could put your phone on mute if you're able to, we'd appreciate it, and we'll save questions to the end. I'll now turn it over to Dr. Banky. Thank you for joining us again today. Yesterday, the province released safety guidelines to protect workers, customers, and the general public from COVID-19 as it prepares for the gradual reopening of the provincial economy. These resources, which are accessible on the province's website, are available for many different sectors. They will help, uh, help employers and workers better understand how to prevent the spread of COVID-19. They signal to any and all businesses that it will not be business as usual, and continuing measures will be need will need to be in play, put in place. While we await details from the province about what the stage reopen will entail, we do know that whatever settings the ministry initially decides will open back up for business, these will be closely monitored by the Brant County Health Unit along with community partners to ensure that new guidelines and protocols are being followed. As we said previously, we will not immediately go back to business as usual when the province begins to reopen. A stage-by-stage -stage re approach to reopening the economy with careful two to four week monitoring in intervals to ensure the appropriate measures are in place will be critical. Keeping workers and workplaces healthy as always has been a prior priority for both the provincial and local health unit level. As you know, Ferrero, out of the abundance of caution, decided to shut down its Brantford plant this week. Grant County Health Unit continues to follow identified workers and their contacts as part of our case and contact management process. As of today, there are seven confirmed cases of COVID-19 from staff at Ferrero. Six are Brant residents and one is a resident of a neighboring jurisdiction. <coughs> as with anyone in our community, employees should monitor themselves for symptoms of COVID-19. If any Ferrero employee develops even minimal symptoms, we urge them to call their local public health unit and indicate they're a Ferrero employee. The health unit continues to be in contact with Ferrero and they remain receptive to our recommendations. I'd like to finish by also saying that we're with some great weather forecasted for this weekend, I'd like to remind our residents to ensure that they're still following the physical distancing guidelines and to avoid gathering of those not within their immediate health household. If you decide to go out for a walk and enjoy the weather, do not congregate and ensure that you are keeping two meters from those not part of your immediate household. Thank you, Dr. Urbanke. We'll now open things up for questions. Dr. Urbanke, it's Samantha with Grant That One. Today, the province announced that starting at 12.01 a.m. Monday, certain businesses will be allowed to start operating. I'm wondering if you had a chance to look over the list and, and how you feel about it, um, especially garden centers and um, allowing golf courses and, and boating places to start preparing for the opening of the season. I, I had a chance to briefly look at it, um, and I certainly... Um, so I just even in the list, they were fairly specific how these people, how these um, businesses need to reopen the gardening centers with curbside pickup, uh, similar to what we've seen with some other businesses, et cetera. And then um, also, yes, noted uh, about um, golf courses and marinas preparing, uh, but not opening yet. And I think uh, we'll probably see some further guidance to ensure uh, proper uh, measures are in place to, to ensure the safety for not only both workers but those enjoying the, the golf course and the, the boating opportunities. Last time I was on we talked about this being a marathon run and I'm wondering if you can tell me where we are on the run right now. Are we a quarter of the way through, halfway through, three quarters? How do you see it? Mm. Um, 
I don't know if I can give you a, a definite timeline. Uh, typically, it, right now, they're looking at uh, 18 months to two years for the complete pandemic. So we're we're only about two to three months in. Certainly, the first peak and the second peak are often uh, the worst ones. So I think we're still sort of in the the early stages, um, but progressing along um, and uh, hopefully with all the measures and the great work that everyone's been doing, including the community, um, that uh, the, uh, the second, hopefully any further waves will be less intense. Um, and uh, we are, we continue on uh, with less hills in the race. <laughs> okay. Can we say that we've been lucky as a community compared to others? Um, I think we've we've been we have been fortunate. Um, our, our our numbers are to uh, to some extent lower um, than other regions, uh, especially in the area of the long term care outbreaks. Um, so I think it reflects hard work um, by those in the community, those in uh, especially long term care and retirement homes, um, to help protect those vulnerable uh, populations. Okay. It's Patty from Rogers. Uh, speaking of long-term care, there's been another confirmed positive staff at St. Joe's and a staff at Briarwood. Do we know uh, yet how those staff contracted the virus? Was it direct contact or community transmission? Uh, I can't speak to any specifics. These cases were p uh, picked up through... Uh, through the mass testing program. Have all of our homes been tested locally now? I know that you had mentioned hopefully by the end of this week. Uh, by the end of today, all our long-term care facilities should be tested. Thanks. Okay, if there's no more questions, uh, thank you all for joining us. Uh, I appreciate it, and we'll pick this back up again on Tuesday at 3 o'clock. Thank you.